has everything. Bumping in, banging. <laughs> Big boy. Big boy. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a, a, a good chance to sit down with this gentleman again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, last time we had a phone, and I was like, oh, now you're on the phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> sudden, huh? Jake Gyllenhaal is up Ooh, in here. Yeah, Jake, what up, Jake? it's oh. a pleasure to see you, bro. Oh, it's thank nice you for to coming be here. Oh, man, in person. Oh, and yeah, not on man. the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Always. know, and, and I don't know. I didn't know you were still on hold when I was calling you, you know, F and Bs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, man, I was like, that. yeah, we put him on hold, and I was like, man, that fucking bitch. <laughs> and then the line was still lit up, and I'm like, oh, oh. My bad, my bad. I'm still here. I'm yeah. still here, big boy. Yeah, no, like, hey, yeah, yeah, man. I was talking about the lady that messed up on our order, Jake. You're like, yeah, fucking bitch. All righty, man. The first stuff I got to say, man, welcome and thank you for coming and hanging out with us. But yeah, the so movie. funny. Yeah. Welcome for coming and hanging out with us, you fucking bitch. Yeah. All right, thanks. You, know, All right, you, yeah. you got to know how to greet them, you pretty bastard. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, man, now there's so many things to talk about, bro, mm -hmm. but this movie, Southpaw, yeah. this movie is. Amazing, bro. And I'm not just saying that, oh, Jake Gyllenhaal's yeah. here in the movie. Like, I had a chance to see an actual screener of the movie. Yeah. And that was the movie that I couldn't wait for it to be over because I wanted to know how the movie ended. Mm -hmm. And when we say an emotional roller coaster, I'm telling you, Jake, I was at the crib and there was times when I was just like, no. I mean, like verbally saying, like, no, oh, no. Damn. And I'm sitting here with a computer with headphones on, and I'm gonna yeah. keep it real with you. At certain times, Jake, I was like, fuck. <laughs> Dude, it got so to the emotional. point where I was like, hurry up and yeah. end. So I'll know, but man, what brought you to that screen? I know you had to read those words and been like, man, this is it. Yeah, I mean, you know, the movie, uh, obviously it's a boxing movie, so all the boxing sequences, Antoine Fuqua directing the, the movie, you know, the boxing, I knew it was going to be dope. But at the same time, it's a movie about a father and a daughter, yeah, man. you know? And so every time I got to those scenes between the two of them and I was reading it, even like I read the I read the first time and then they did other rewrites on it and I would read it and I would just, I'd always cry. It would just moves you, you know? You're like, oh. yeah, I remember man. reading on a plane and being like, <laughs> it's okay. And like people be like, what? he's reading. What's up? What is this? Can I read that every sir? time? You know, so it has this heart to it that you never expect from it. But and then in the end, you know, he gets to fight for his daughter, which right. is you know. You know what I love about that man is I was telling my wife also. She was like, I got to see it in the, in the theater. I was like, baby, I said it's not a boxing movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, like I wouldn't say, oh man, you got to go see this because oh, it's technique and put mm -hmm. your fist here. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. it is a movie that you know your, your character. He is a boxer. But you really go into where you're feeling like, man, like, like you rooting, and it's not, it's not a cheesy root. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, oh my God, the movie Southpaw, it is amazing, and oh, I man. love the fact that the trailer doesn't give anything away. I don't want to give anything away because I want everybody to see it raw, like how I seen it. Have you got? Have you had a chance to view it with an audience yet? Absolutely, yeah, a few audiences. It's so great. You know, they audiences cheer. Yeah, you man. know what I mean. They're like. When when things happen, you can oh. hear them like they're all they're always making noise. I've never really made a movie where like there's lots of noise all right. over. I went and saw a screening last night, and at the end of the screening, you know, we we're gonna do a question and answer afterwards, and um and I was just the end of the movie, and the whole audience applauded. I was like, yeah. oh whoa whoa like yeah. And when I say emotional roller coaster, there were times when I thought it was gonna get good, right? <laughs> and then I'd be like, all right, cool. Then something happened, like fuck. <laughs> This is <laughs> <are you> serious. <laughs> like, what are y'all doing to me? That's the thing, though. That's what Antoine Fuku directed the movie. That's what Antoine said always. He was like, he was like, this is a movie about a guy who who has to struggle to win. Oh my and, you know, god! And it is that struggle. But he had he he realizes how in the middle of that struggle how to be a dad. Yeah, man. you know what I mean. That's what the story's about. So he keeps from early on. You know, he grew up as an orphan. Yeah. He was in foster care. He met his wife in foster care. They were oh. both there. Had to get out of that system. Made a life. And then all of his rage that he has that makes him a great fighter is the same thing that destroys his life. And then he has to build it all back up yeah, again. Man. So on the way back up, all that stuff is like you're like no, oh yeah, again. <laughs> Why? Hey, dude, I was you like, know? here we go. This is good. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. All right, here we. No, okay, all right. Said, oh no, it's not. No, okay, she's. Go oh no, she's not. No, I'm like, like, oh. oh, but it is. Oh, yeah. but it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, but it, it but is. You yeah. guys have a great, great project there. Now, your character, of course, we see the trailer, so on and so forth. Boxer. Now, did you have to? I'm not. Did you have to? What was the training like, Jake Gyllenhaal, to to actually get into character? Well, I trained for five months for the movie because I, I I didn't really know how to box when I started. Right. So I figured, if I train twice a day for five months, that make five months into ten months. And so uh, I trained for five months pretty much every single day, all Damn. the time, you know. Uh, 
and just learned techniques of boxing. I had an amazing trainer, his name's Terry Claibon, and he you know, was with me every single second, even through shooting after we had finished shooting mm-hmm. the fight sequences. But we, we trained like we were training up to a fight. So the, the first two weeks of shooting were all the fights. We shot all the fights. So I trained like six weeks out. We oh. tried, we were like, hey, we gotta make it's like weight. Camp. We got it, yeah. And then we trained up to the first day of shooting. And the first day of shooting, we did it like a fight. Like I was in one room, you know, the other fighters in another room. We got ready. We had the refs come in, you know, Damn, I mean? like Check it, taping, give, and taping right our on. hands, doing the whole thing. And then we walked out to our to our music. We did the whole thing, went into the ring, and and then we had our choreography. We'd choreo- choreograph most of the fights. Mm-hmm. So we'd go, okay, round one, round two, round three, and we would we shot it like a real fight, you know. Um, we always thought that we've seen so many boxing movies, and the only way to do it for real, you know, to make a difference. Did you do get it hit real. at any time? Absolutely. Oh, oh man. Damn. And when Jim Lambert and Roy Jones. That's my punk Jim- ass walk off. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. I quit. <laughs> Next thing you see is like a stunt <laughs> double because they had to get one. It's a white guy. Like, what the hell? Hey, man, bring Jason in. Bring Jason in. This. You're not hitting me in my face. Now you're saying with with, with uh, Jimmy Lynn or what were with, you saying with Jim Lambley, Jim Lambley and Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, when man. they came and did the announcing too, because they came at the yeah, end. Yeah, y'all after were we official. Y'all had Weeks and everybody in there. Yeah, too. we had Tony Weeks. Yeah, so like <laughs> when they came. We all got really jacked up, so we were all hitting each other a whole lot oh, more. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? like, like showing it up. Yeah, <laughs> we're like, you ain't no damn boxer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it was so official. Like, how do you get that crowd there? Are we looking at something that's like a CGI, or is that a crowd of people for real? Do you go into a fight and kind of choreograph like quick and shoot it at a live fight? Well, some of it's choreographed. Yeah, some of it is CGI, but we had about 750 extras there Good every Lord day. Mercy. Right. And then damn. we would improv too in the fight. So we'd we'd have our gloves up and we'd be moving around the ring and I'd say, Okay, I'm gonna throw two jabs in the right hand, and then I'm gonna slip and then he'll be okay, I'm gonna slip the right hand and we'll try it. And then we do that and we go, oh, let's try that again. Okay, two jabs. I'm gonna get hit by the jab next okay. time. Okay. And then all of a sudden you'd be like, Oh fuck, what is it? Yeah. Then, oh, shit, I just hit him. <laughs> all, all my <laughs> things, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you. Gonna like, hit you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, now you swing at me, I'm gonna duck and run to three. Go. All right, here we go. Like, no, nah, brother. They be like, B, we want you to play a box. I'm like, no, nah, man. Does he get knocked out in the first one? Let, let me know what's happening. Were you a boxing fan before Jake Gyllenhaal? Not so much. I mean, obviously, I grew up in the Tyson era, so it's right. hard to not be, you know, a Tyson fan when you grow up in the '90s. But um, you know, it wasn't until I started doing research for the movie where I just started to fall in love with boxing, and now I'm I'm gonna have a boxing fan. Right? Do you watch so, boxing um, different now? Absolutely. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. I mean, you know the, the techniques and everything. Man. Oh yeah, even the Pacquiao and Mayweather fight. I mean. A lot of people were saying, "Out, you know, obviously it was a, it was not as exciting as people." But you could see what they be. were doing. Definitely, the first four rounds, I was like, "This is an interesting fight because it's just a mental game." Initially, then I was like, "What's going on with this fight?" Right, but, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you this now: Say, for instance, if if Louis just jumped up right now, yep. And he wanted to fight with you. Would uh-huh. he? Have- ah! like, that didn't scare me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's not do Louis. Let's do yeah. somebody that's over five feet. Okay. Yeah. Um, somebody even before the training. Somebody that was a threat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Best yeah. believe that. Yeah, somebody that was a threat even before the training. <laughs> if somebody were to come up, your average size, your average weight, but they don't know what's going down. Yeah. What happens now? I after, mean, after Southpaw. To me, I don't really. After all my training, my, the one thing my trainer said was like, "Don't mess around with what you've learned." Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's the one thing is like, I I don't really like. I mean, it's not like I like to get in a fight. Right. You know what I mean? And it, and it's not like it's different. I think if you're on the street and someone does it, and you're in the ring, it's, you know, you're ready for the fight. Um, but. You know, I mean, I'm definitely more prepared than I was before. I heard that. Has any of the training <laughs> stuck with you? You're like a workout oh. that you're like, I'm going to do this every day now. Absolutely. I mean, the one thing for me that I can't ever get like go of is like popping my shoulders. You know, oh. like for me, <laughs> yeah. if I feel tense or something like that, like even if I do, like, like I just, that boxer you know, pop, yeah, like. you just sit there and you pop your shoulders, <laughs> that's and that makes crazy. me feel comfortable. And that's the thing that I'll never get out of my. Head. I heard you fired like all your security, even on the tour. You're like, yeah, I don't need no security. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, he walked in here like, yeah, it's man. weird. <laughs> looking around. He looked around like, hey, what's up, big? Where am I sitting at? Where am I sitting? Where am I sitting? Popping his shoulders. Yeah. I was like, he walked in with a belt. He's like, I'm like, like yeah. yeah. He walked in with a belt. I'm like, bro, the movie's over. We're just promoting. Like, oh, what you say? He got his own yeah, I just spray painted my belt green. Yeah. 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 As it should be, it should be for money. But, you know what's crazy, Jake? It's even, and it's a boxing movie, so I'm not giving anything away, but even at your worst when. You were bloody or whatever. Yeah. You still look better than us. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm what? like, you no. better. Like I'm looking like, dude, his nose is split. <laughs> He's bleeding, and still yeah. girls would be like, "Ah, oh, take this bloody guy <laughs> over you, big boy. Over Louis or the big boy. Yeah. Yo, I mean, one thing I have realized is there's nothing better than fighting for the things you love, you know. And I, I feel that from like, you know, it, th- even if your nose is split and you're fighting for what you love, I feel like that probably is attractive. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. what I, that's what I hear from women. Is, Let me ask know. you this: in a in a scene, because there was the the sex scene, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, how does one <laughs> not get um? Right. Still, right, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, how does that happen? There was a moment where, um, you know, there was a moment where I didn't know. Uh, and you can't really pop it in, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> what did that mean? You great? can't do them. Put <laughs> your panties to the no. side. No, no. You okay. cannot do that. Okay, you can no. check it. Like, oh, <laughs> let me do this. Yeah. Hold on. Let me write that yeah, down. Yeah, write that down. Yeah, right, so yeah. You can't on actually... your forehead. Okay. Yeah. No, no, I'm going to put it on Okay. All right. Yeah. But but there was a moment where I was like, you know, I didn't Rachel McAdams who plays my wife in the movie. Oh, I didn't know, you know, she didn't tell me what uh oh. what undergarments she was going to be wearing and uh I you know, I started lifting up a dress oh, in the scene Lord. and I, and I say in the movie Wow, yeah, that was like real. that. Huh? That was real. They ain't nowhere in the script. <laughs> <laughs> was like, Even the script, the script director oh, wow. was like, "Okay, no, we don't have a." No. Why? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like, I was like "What?" I was like, "Leopard pink." I was like, oh, what? "What?" How many takes of the sex scene do you have to do? As many as you can. Oh yeah, because oh, you need God. to make sure that it's right. Oh Good man, gosh. yeah, the sex scene and then oh, I, I was in the crib. I was like, "Man, tag me in, Jake." <laughs> Like, tag me. Cowbell. Yeah. yeah. I was like, tag me in. I would have smooth lost my movie thing. Because all you got to do is blow in my face. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, there is that moment where she sucks my finger. Oh, and I was my like, God. Oh, my God. Right there. Yeah, I know. Well, she's they just would... hot either way. Rachel McAdams oh is amazing. God. They would have had yeah. to yeah. shut down because I would have been asleep. Because I get a good one. I go to sleep, Jake. I'm like, Oh, that, you're done after that. Like, yeah. You're done after that. Well, we gotta yeah. shut down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> gotta go get coffee, grind some craft services. Like here, man. Wait, this dude. Up. <laughs> Damn idiot. You know what I'm saying? Like, take him 14 days to shoot a sex scene. Wow. Y'all stick around. Y'all, y'all, y'all stick around. Well, that's y'all a wrap. Big yeah. boys are sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. He sleep. Got his thumb in his mouth. <laughs> Lord. And there were there were rumors that Eminem was initially supposed to do this role. How did that yeah. happen or change about? Well, yeah. Initially, uh, Kurt Sutter, who wrote the screenplay, who wrote Sons of Anarchy, yeah, amazing. You know, um, he wrote it for for Eminem, mm-hmm. and uh, and then M sort of decided, you know, it wasn't really. I think he had a lot of stuff going on and been mu- musically on his plate, and he was like, I don't know. And then he kind of moved off of it, and then uh, and then yeah, over a while, bit of time that came to me, and and then we, we sort of changed it and moved it to fit me. But mm-hmm. now he's doing the soundtrack, and he does oh, a number Lord. of songs in the movie. Yeah, he does. And, and he really loves the movie, which is pretty incredible. You trained so. to hip hop also? Absolutely, yeah. Go ahead oh, now. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. I mean, the funny part about it was I initially started training with, and I throughout the whole training process, it was like pretty much all hip hop. But Miguel Cotto, for instance, is like one of my favorite fighters, and he's always like trained to merengue and like salsa and stuff. <laughs> so there, one time I was like, put on salsa. I want to try it. Right. I want to try and train with salsa. <laughs> and then I was like, like five minutes, and I was like, nah, just nah, turn nah, off the salsa. Nah. I, I don't look good. I can't do that. No, just put the hip hop back on. Put the Eminem back on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At least I did try it before I said, no, it's not for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I did try it. It's not like I'm, I'm not saying it. How, now, how was it working with 50 Cent? Um, it was, I have to say, you know, I don't think you expect the type of professionalism and humility that he brings. Yeah, I man. mean, he does not have to be there and be committed in the way that he was. You know, he was there even in the fight sequences when I was fighting. He was in my corner, you know, even when he wasn't on camera. You know, I mean, he is a, a gentleman. Yeah, That's man. what I would say. I mean, truly a gentleman. Extremely smart also, And bro. really smart. Yeah. And was there to learn about the process of making movies, which I was like, you don't need to do that. You know what I mean? And, and then in the scenes, you know, we did a lot of improvisation in the scenes. Mm-hmm. So... He, he was just right there with me all the time. And because he knows so much about the fight game, you know, he yeah, was yeah, on yeah. me like a manager would be on a fighter. Yeah. So I'd be at him with something. I'd be saying something to him, and he'd be he'd be right back at me with his knowledge of the game. And that was where I was like, oh, wow, this is, this is great. You know, when I first met him, he came to Church Street Gym in New York City where I was training, and he pulled me out of the ring, and I was like, and he started talking to me like he was my manager. And Antoine Fuku was there, and he and we looked at each other. And I was like, oh, this is this is perfect. Not you know? heard that. Um, but he, the thing that I was surprised by, and and constantly surprised by with him, is what a gentleman he is. 
Yeah. I mean, good dude, man. Good dude. I love that dude. Absolutely. Best no. For the character in the movie, I don't know. Yeah, no, he, yeah. yeah he, he's, he's shady. I mean, he's a boxing promoter. He's you know shady. what I'm saying? I was he's like, shady. good Lord have mercy. I was waiting for his hair to grow in an afro and be great. <laughs> so true. <laughs> it's so true. I was like, good Lord, it's so man. True. Was, there were times I was like, he's not your friend, it's man. So <laughs> <laughs> like, another one? Like, oh, man. I know, I know. Like, good Lord have mercy. Now, the character in the movie, man, it, when, when you see Southpaw, not, not just the boxing, Boxer, man, but but I'm a dad also. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So watching it as a father, it brought so much out. And just even just as a son and watching my mom struggle, so on and so forth. But you don't have any kids, but you mm-hmm. were able to tap into what appeared to be so believable, bro. Hmm. You know, now does this movie make you not want kids now? <laughs> like, because no, I mean, kids was... are a mess, man. It's Yo. like an emotional. <laughs> like, when you go, when you have that, it's like. I know, from the movie, you're like, woof. I man, know. If I, I would have saw this movie first, <laughs> <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal I probably wouldn't like... have no kids, man. <laughs> I was like, man, is that what you got to do? Yeah. Cowbell. I was like, is that um, what you got to do? <laughs> I mean, you know, the thing is, I the thing about it is I would do anything for any kid. Mm-hmm. I mean, whether I know them, whether they're my family. I'm glad you said that. My daughter's birthday is September 24th. We're talking okay. about it off air. Go ahead. Make a note. All right. Um, no, but really, I mean, so to me, I just, I love kids. So um, that sort of comes easy. And then also the actress who plays my daughter in the movie oh, is so talented. So and believable. So, has such good great heart so believable you know what man. i mean so i i just immediately you know what like, she reminded me of man the feeling that i got when i watched um dakota fanning is that it yeah. oh and yeah. i am yeah. sam yeah. oh and i am sam okay, yeah, yeah when i saw i am sam mm-hmm. i was like who is this girl that's the yeah. same like i don't know the credits behind the, the girl who played your daughter yeah but it was so believable yeah you know what i'm saying and yeah. the things that were coming out of her mouth during certain scenes i was i was just there melting man like yeah. oh my god like that was the the casting on there was dynamite great oh yeah she's she's incredible and the thing was was like i was following her through scenes sometimes like she would be guiding me you know as an actor i'd be like whoa 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 yeah, she's right. doing well, something you need to amazing tighten up on oh, your God. craft you shouldn't have a little girl <laughs> believe me i know i know i know and then she and then she's in the studio with 50 and she's just like dropping some she's like i got this 50 it's fine he's like oh my. you know what i'm saying you might I can't say that. <laughs> Believe that y'all stick around y'all radios, man. But do we, before we do anything, would you? Yeah. Do you want kids? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Cool the game. I'm I mean, right. Yeah. I'm like 20 miles from here. Go pick them up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do but, I want your kids? Yeah. You're asking me. I didn't say that. I said yeah. you want kids. <laughs> you already said yes. Man, move. All right. Fine. Man. Fine. I'll tell yeah, you. Whatever. You, I'll you take already said yes. So, yeah, I'll take so, so why why you don't have kids now? Are you you know? Because I'm I'm in hell. You you're sexy. You're oh. rich. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, well, I got matter. kids. If I got kids, hell, yeah. you can have them. <laughs> <laughs> I got a girl in the bed. Yeah, you got to find the right one. I mean, ah, that's what I you're mean. looking for. Yeah. Ah. It's not just trying to, you know, make a million kids all different places. Really, though. Yeah. Or oh, he, he's strapping up well. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. yeah, big boy. Yeah. He's not yeah. cool. <laughs> he, Cowbell. Yeah. Right. He, so he's strapping up well, man. How does a girl get the Jake Gyllenhaal dick? <laughs> that's, that's what they're asking. You know what I'm saying? I mean, are you are you dating now? <laughs> no. Ah, oh, her. Yeah, Is it hard yeah, to yeah. date being Jake Gyllenhaal? Uh, I mean, I don't know. That's a trick question. No, I mean, it's not. no. I mean, no. I mean, I mean, I. I think to me, it's like I'm. I am. I really like love my family. I'm all about family. I'm. I'm, I'm really, really focused on my work too. You know, so that's the thing right now. I've spent the past few years really, you know, trying to, you know, get a little better than you know, eleven year old actors. You know what I mean? Yeah, tell me about it. So, you got to work you know, on that. that. That's been a that's been a big focus of mine for the Would past few years. Would you say though that you have like really good game? Like when it comes to maybe seeing someone, you're like, oh, well, they're they're interesting. Let me see if I can go spit game. Of course. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Like I think do you know. Game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, if I pull out Nightcrawler game, yeah. that'd be like <laughs> they'll be dead on the like, street like, at the oh end of the God. day. <laughs> you know what I love like, like, about this man? When we knew you were coming in, we were like, man, Jake Gyllenhaal possibly coming in. Louis was all over yeah, it, man. all over. He was like, oh, my God, I love him, I love him, I love him. And then we had to pull him to the side. We were like, hey, man, Brokeback Mountain was not a reality <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was a reality show. It gets a like, little uncomfortable whenever I'm in here with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, it's the cowbell. Right. It's like the whole thing. Woo, yeah, I'm like, cowboy. Yeah, like, he keeps scooting yeah, his like, chair closer to yeah. Jay. Yeah. 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 Flexing his biceps in a weird way. Yeah. 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 As soon as you or whatever you know, biceps he has. He started working out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. It was weird. I'm surprised he didn't do squats trying to show off the booty. All sweaty and stuff. You know him too well. All sweaty and stuff. I'll get him, big. I'll get him. Mama, tag him. Y'all still got our radio. We got, we got Jake Gyllenhaal up in here, oh, big boy. Sure.
Kurt Sutter is the okay. writer of the film, who also yeah. did Sons of Anarchy, who oh, yeah. has a huge fan base. Yeah, Would man. you ever consider maybe doing a TV series with Kurt? Absolutely. I mean, I mean, Kurt is a very busy wait, man. Wait, wait, wait. So. Which Kurt are we talking about? Kurt Sutter. Okay, because my real name Kurt. is Kurt. I, yeah, thought, well, I thought we were working you together. You want to do a, do a TV Man, series? Man, I was down like a mother. I'm telling you. I was like, oh, my God. You want to work? Oh, my God. It's, it's hard enough to get you on the phone. Yeah, oh, oh, my please, God. Stop it, man. You know but, they wanted me to do Southpaw. Yeah. With you. Not not as uh, but they wanted to be, me to be one of the Whitaker's boxers. Part. No, 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 not, not that big. Oh, but I they were like, could coach. you be one of the trainers or something? Oh. But you know, I lost three hundred pounds, so I got all this loose skin. Yeah, I know. So I know. when I went to the actual it was like <laughs> 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 So they was like, All right, big, you know, we we make sure that Jake come to you for the interview. But no, you you were saying that would he? Well yeah, like doing a series with, with Kurt. Absolutely. I mean I I mean, yeah. Did I mean, you get a chance to watch Sons of Anarchy before working I've watched, with him? I've, I don't watch a ton of television, mm -hmm. to be honest, you know, but I, I, I have seen Sons of Anarchy, and, I mean, I'm a big fan of Kurt's. You know, that's the reason why I love the script, and, you know, he worked pretty closely when we were making the movie, too, and, I, I mean, he's a great guy, and, and he's a, one hell of a writer, and, you know, he's just... Uh, the thing about him, the thing that I love about his writing is that he writes characters who aren't afraid to tear shit up. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And he also writes characters like in this movie who also have a heart. You know what I mean? Who also fight for something and there's a reason why they fight for something and they love their kids and but at the same time they know how to tear shit up. So I think that balance, yeah, if you put that on television like he does in Santa, Sons of Anarchy mm -hmm. and then say I would I would I'd love to work with Kurt in whatever form again. You know what I love about South Paul also, man, the casting. It wasn't like you were watching a movie. Like you, I wasn't looking at Forrest Whitaker who's a Great actor, mm. yeah. like oh, that's Forrest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was the trainer, the owner. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you believe that, yeah. and then you look at Fifty. Like I know Fifty personally. We know him on stage and everything, but but it wasn't like that was just Fifty Cent that I was watching right there. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I believe you and your story as a boxer. Then I, you got Victor Ortiz in there. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah. it was cast so extremely well bro like extremely well well you know Antoine Fuqua you know I mean that's his thing Actor, actors are his thing I mean when you see Denzel in Training Day oh my God, when man. you see the Equalizer and yes. stuff I mean that's his he loves good acting and he tries to he's shaping everybody he knows 50 he knows what people think of 50 and he's like all right, I'm gonna bring out the best in you mm -hmm. and that's the thing I, I mean I love him you know what I mean he when would you talk so to Antoine hard. again uh, what'd you say when will you talk to him again like probably today tell him about me man <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like okay. this is cool, but if we can get some of that, you know. By the way, by the way, way don't yeah. joke. <laughs> no, by the way, don't joke. Because he'd be like, I mean, I think, I think, I think we would be really good in this. Part. We should. And I'd be like, what? He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he would suck in that part. And like, no, I can bring something out don't, of him. I'm like, don't, you know what? Don't not block God. on me. Okay? You can't bring like, something out of him. You people. believed him all the way up until it was my yeah. turn. You know what I'm saying? Like, 50. Yes. 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 Uh, big one. Oh, no. Oh, jeez, no. Keep him where he is. You're losing your mind no, now, yeah, bro. Me. Like, I've been in the room with this dude. But you, believe me, Antoine. You don't want this cat in there. And, it's, uh, and when you watch the credits, because I'm a credit person, man, he put a lot of his family around that movie too though. it was a lot of Fuqua's in there <laughs> so it was like Fuqua catering it's so true Gaffer hey, Fuqua it's Antoinette so hairdresser wow. Fuqua I'm like what the yeah, he so was, true. it was so many Fuqua's running around there I'm like yeah like, even man. in the ring it's like Fuqua production yeah. like on the ropes he yeah. put in I was like you, you know can't what I'm saying? do that it's, it's his cousin in there I'm like yeah. man I'm not mad at you brother y'all stick around cousin he already. hates he's yeah. like Jake knock his cousin out hey man now this scene right here Jake don't go hard on him he owe me two thousand dollars knock his ass out we just didn't break, and um, Natalia was saying, oh, yeah. I didn't want to be intrusive. Intrude. Well, this yeah. is a kind of weird intrusive. I heard somewhere that you're a big Harper Lee fan, and To Kill Mockingbird's one of your favorite books. That's oh, true. yeah, that's intrusive. Have you have you <laughs> gotten a chance to get her new one, Go Set a Watchman? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You probably don't want to answer that. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know Harvey Levin on. TMZ, we know. <laughs> Are you going to answer this? I told I'm you like, it was a weird intrusiveness. Let me just let me just say that the the her first book... Um, which I've like, you know, I love deeply. I love the the movie, you know, Addicts Finch, the character I, I love in that in that story. I have not yet read the new version. I've heard all the, you know, the, the, the news yeah, around it. Yeah. But I've spent the past, you know, two weeks, you know, talking about this movie a lot. So I haven't really had any time to. Um and it's it's an interesting story. I mean I mean it's an interesting story just in terms of like all the press coming out of it. I mean I, it's sort of mind blowing in in a way, but the initial book is one of my favorites and um yeah, it's like that's in my heart. So it'll be interesting. Um, 
when or if I get to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. nice. Go ahead now. Oh man, I'm surprised you answered that. Yeah, man. <laughs> that was crazy. That was right dark. There, man. It was that was dark, and I, yeah. it almost made me cry. I know. <laughs> so y'all stick uh, around, y'all radios, right? man. We are getting. I don't know. <laughs> deep. Let me put it on the notes we, right here. I think she like. I do think she likes me because she's not Why really she? going hard. Oh. Right. Do you know oh. what I mean? Like she's being nice. Well, you know, you know what? She has a boyfriend we never oh, met by the name of we call him. We call him Mystery Man. Oh, you never met the boyfriend. Never. It's always weird we don't meet the boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Oh, they have photos. Yeah. yeah. They, they, Everyone has photos. Yeah. They come with your wallet. Yeah. You know what I'm She's on the it's street, like, like, can you take a picture of me? Do you mind? Yeah. Yeah. Mind? Yeah. Like, oh, at first, but he's, it's a, the he's a lawyer uh, now, right? Yes. Because oh, at really? first, he was a oh, sous chef. Really? Yeah. Okay. He was a sous yeah. chef at first. Oh, he was. When we oh, yeah. first started yeah. talking about it, he was a sous chef. And then a UFC fighter at one point. The UFC fighter. But it's the same person. The person was like, oh, Matt, he has a fight this weekend. I'm like, yeah. like, what the hell? I've heard about the lawyer UFC, you know, Yeah. Cook boyfriend. Yeah. This is why he's special because he's all these things. Right, we've never met him. Never. He, really? We've never, never. met him. Man. We've had we so many events yet. together. <laughs> yeah. Neither has she. Him. Yeah, <laughs> she, she has. You know what I mean? Jake. Listen. Yeah. yeah. And she just came back from vacation, right? And I'm thinking that she's out with her boyfriend. She came back. She was at summer camp being a counselor. What? Who takes, really? a, who takes a week off and Seriously? don't want to get their thing oh, banged nice. out for a week? I'm thinking, <laughs> get your thing banged out for a week, man. Look, we know you don't like kids, but other people like kids, <laughs> right. boy. Yeah, yeah, she don't like kids. That's what it is. Uh, you know what I'm yeah. This girl over here, I don't want to be hard on her. You know what I'm saying? Or oh. shit are. You know what I mean? <laughs> y'all stick around, y'all radios. We got Jake Gyllenhaal up in here. He's wondering why he came and hung out with us again. <laughs> No, you know this is my favorite. This oh, is, uh, you stop that, man. I'm serious. Uh, you stop it. Everybody stop laughing. Let's get this in the clear. Oh, yeah. Wait, what was that? Yeah, man. What, what were you saying? It's true. This is my favorite. You give me shit for when I call in. You, right. You give me shit when I'm here, but right. I like it here. Hey, I'm a yeah. piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like to divvy it out. <laughs> hey, I'm like, Oprah, you get shit. You get shit. You get shit. My head you explodes. Shit. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Y'all stick around, y'all radios. We got Jake Gyllenhaal. Y'all, man, we, I can't wait till we do our good cop, bad cop. Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jake chilling all with Big Boys. Is this right? Big and then the, even the announcer's like, <laughs> Big Boy? <laughs> yeah. With a question mark. With Jake chilling all and the one and only Big Boy. Okay, this is wrong. Wait, is that right? Is that the right name? <laughs> I'm not reading this copy. Jake chilling all. Now, let me ask you this, man. Would you sock a 70 year old man in his face? Oh, all righty. If it would add five years to his life. But you couldn't tell. But you couldn't tell anyone why you hit this old man. What is that question? You couldn't tell anyone. You couldn't tell anyone on, for man. a year. Then at the year, you can say, "Hey, this is why I did it." Oh wow, wow, yeah. so much, wow. Yeah, uh, adding some years, man. Well, what if he was already in? You mean all right? Yeah. There, oh, Thank God. Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. See, you, you know what I'm I saying? Mean, all right. Always like, give. Uh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally, I'm gonna say right now, that's the weirdest question anyone's ever asked me. Really? Yeah, that's yeah, I mean, the crazy. weirdest question. Right. Okay. Write it down in the Write that down. All right. No, what do you mean? No, Are you asking me to punch you in the face? I'm not a 70 year old man. You what? <laughs> Black bitch. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, here's Donald Trump. He loves Donald Trump. He loves Donald Trump. Oh, what? He, lo- what? he loves Donald Trump. What? Buzz. Go get Jose. He loves Donald Trump. He said, if you could win the lottery, all righty, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. either $1 million for yourself mm-hmm. or $5 million for a charity. Oh, come on. Who five, do you choose? On, $5 million for a charity. Come on. That's, really? That's, yes. Oh, that was, absolutely. Yeah, same here. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I really? Mean, oh, yeah. Why you answered that differently. Like that? I could have sworn yeah. like a yeah. month ago. Say what now? You un- you gave it a different answer like a month ago. I didn't. <laughs> yes. He lying, man. Yo, I no, would I was, try you know, and I love do the kids, both. Man. Yeah? I try and do yeah. both. No, I would just boom straight to the charity for me, brother. You really? know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Here's that five million. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like here you go. Yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah, so we like the same, man. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? That's why I like Natalia was there. No, no Natalia wasn't there. Nah, uh, nobody was, was there. there. Okay, here you guys go. What again. did he say? Did He's, he say he would do that? Yeah, for yourself, right? That no, was... I said no. I was saying <laughs> you tripping. I said <laughs> I would take the money for myself to make sure I delivered it. Uh, oh, to oh, the chair, to the chair. Yeah, you know I don't know what's going down. And then man. all of a sudden oh. they'd have four million. Five million, man. No, but Come on. you would get five million. <laughs> if there's taxes and that I got to pay on delivered it. You, they would always get four million. Jake, I mean, you now keep you, one now for you're questioning my character. Bro. No, Characters was being spoke about you when you're not in the room, and you're in the room and you disrespect me. <laughs> Good lord, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to tell you this. I know you've been training for Southpaw and you got your boxing game up, but I yes. go out here and fuck your publicist up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know, man. 
She's kind of badass. <laughs> okay, with well, somebody out there. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal. Now, I would say that this movie that you guys have here, South Paul, I would say that it's amazing. I would say that, that it could be a you know awards coming during award season. Let's say, for instance, there is an Oscar there. Best actor. You're in there. Uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is in there. Got to throw Samuel Jackson in there because he's in every movie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Best, but it's either Samuel or Morgan Freeman, one or the other. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, let's say you could write your name in as the winner. Uh-huh. Best actor, but no one knew. Yeah. Would you write your name in? What do you mean? I mean, you know, I have to say, I, you know, m- m- when you make a movie, it's like when a movie works, when it just is good, mm-hmm. it's like feels like a miracle. It's like you get all these people together, you know, and like they 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 work so hard and uh, you never know what's going to happen, how mm-hmm. it's going to turn out. And when it works, you're like, oh, man. That's the feeling that I I mean when you get to work Do you with have Samuel Jackson softball? when you get to work with Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. yeah, when you get to work with those people, mm-hmm. that's what that's the thing that I, you know, I that's what I dream of. You know, the other things is like things that come from it, you know, awards and all that stuff. If that ever happens, that's great, but the thing that I love more than anything is be able to sit there if you have the opportunity to sit there and work across Sam Jackson mm-hmm. or 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 Robert Downey Jr., you know, like constantly when I have in my career been able to meet people like that like Forrest Whitaker. Right. Um you know, you kind of go like, what is this? This is crazy. Would you rather have the Oscar with your name on it or work with Robert Downey Jr.? I, I would say work work with Robert Damn, Downey Jr. Damn, that's crazy. I mean, I because to me, and I mean, to me, it's it, uh, that's what I live for is mm-hmm. is my work. You know right. what I mean? Is working with people like that and learning from people like that. You know, I I, I heard from somebody once, and I believe this still. Like, and and I learn and I see this from Fifty, for instance. Never stop being a student. Right, yes, you know, sir. Never stop learning from the people who know more than you and never stop, you know, being humbled by that that information that you learn. And and to me, you know, I walk into every job getting that, you know, with the the stuff I, I did work with Robert Downey Jr. Mm-hmm. And the things I learned from him I bring into my job when I work with Forrest Whitaker. You know what I mean? And even saying that, like I'm like, I work with Robert Downey Jr. I work with Forrest Whitaker. Like that's crazy to me. Mm-hmm. So to me, that's what I that's what I cherish more than anything. What kind of jobs mm-hmm. did you have before yeah. acting? Before acting started paying the bills? I was a busboy for a while. I was a lifeguard. Damn. Mm. Uh uh, that lifeguard, yeah. yeah. I'd be like, yeah, all, all the like girls really drowning on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Did you ever have to save right anyone's shorts? life? Oh uh, well, somebody. I remember, not really, but uh, I remember someone got a, like a stung by a man of war, mm. and uh, I, I was like, I didn't really know what to do, so I was like, I th- I'm pretty sure I remember that you, if you piss on their leg, that. It it takes the sting away. Really though. So I was so, just like, whatever, and I, I did it. You urinated oh. on the person. You have to. I heard. Ooh. Hey, good lord. They, n- nowadays, just somebody will sue you. They be like, oh, Jay Gyllenhaal urinated on me. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dying, you didn't have girls like go. in the ocean that played like they were drowning or in, in the pool. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I would think like that's Jay yeah. Gyllenhaal. Even before, it's not like the Jay, the sexy came after you started acting. You know what I'm saying? I, it'd be like, hey, I, I thought yeah. girls would be like, oh my god, I'm drowning, Ooh. I'm drowning. You know what I'm saying? And it, that's very noble because I'm going to tell you, somebody drowning in the water, I'm like, hey, <laughs> you're, you're, like, you're on your own, Jack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, as soon as I walk in, they think blacks can't swim anyway. They're like, oh, <laughs> you here for what job? <laughs> like, come on, man. Go on with that, big. This dude crazy as hell. All right, go on in there and fry some chicken. So, Jake Gyllenhaal, you cook. Yeah. What's your specialty? Oh, I just cook. I mean, I, I always, whenever anybody asks me that, I'm always like, it's, I don't have a specialty because if you have a specialty, you're not really a cook. Ah, Ooh, yeah, you, know you I mean? just ah, uh, that is true. I'll cook up whatever's there and I'll make it good. Really though, do you have a kitchen at your hotel right now, so we can come by? <laughs> yeah, man, what's up with that? <laughs> I don't need a kitchen. Oh, oh, oh watch out now. Uh, he's gonna be making a spread like jail spread. <laughs> yeah, I'm like lighting my bed on fire. <laughs> yeah. I don't need a kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see broke back mountain we just cook out there on a can? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Get a can of beans. <laughs> What are you talking about? You Why do I sound like Rocky's trainer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crap with thunder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what, what's yeah. that thing if you were going to make us a meal? What would that meal be? Where we're I like, mean, oh, Jake, Jake can burn. Well, I mean, it just depends. I mean, I hear you like fried chicken, right? Go ahead so now. No, I, I didn't make, say that. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. In the break, Mr. that's what you no, said. No, I didn't, Mr. Oh, Trump. please, don't you pull that on me. <laughs> 
Wow, you're pulling it out. Wow. <laughs> wow. Can you imagine if I Look did that? Look at me alone in the middle of the ocean drowning. <laughs> yeah. Big can boy you, said he'd be here to save can me. Can you imagine if I did that to Oh, my, my God. Say that? No, yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, whatever people like. Do you know what I mean? It's like, if, you know, I, I like to ask people what they like, and then I like to challenge myself. You know what I mean? People like one thing, I'd like to try and cook that thing. You know what I mean? That's my, that's, you know, one of the things that make, that actually I like is like, I cook for my nieces all the time, and they like, they always like one of my nieces always loves like steak, uh, and then the other one never eats steak. So I'm always asking them like, what, you know, how much? How do you like it cooked? Like I'm the I'm the uncle that's like, mom's just like, just eat. How like, old are you? Know. How old are your nieces? Uh, one's nine and one's three. Do they? Uh, would the nine year old? Do she know who uncle is? Mm, not really. Oh, no, okay. not really. No. All right, you need to introduce yourself to her. Get back in her life. Y'all see <laughs> our radios. We got Jake Gyllenhaal. You see your family sometime. Right I can't yeah. believe I walked into your, that. Go see your family sometime, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Jake, pleasure to see you yeah, again, man. my brother. Always a pleasure. I, ha- I have fun with you. You have a good yeah, spirit. Yeah, you're awesome, bro. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> it's just like you got to have fun. It's, yeah. well, you have people who are too serious? Hey, here? man, you in? Uh, you, you live in New York? I live in New York. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, I grew home. up in L.A., but I live in my New York. My son definitely want to go to... Uh, to New yeah. York. So we're going to stay with you, man. We're going to have a great time. We're going to finish this off, man. Whatever you need. You know yeah, what I'm I told saying? You, I love kids. Uh, as you should, yeah, brother. Man. Now, do you have a nice size house? Yeah. Okay, cool. And I'm mm-hmm. gastric bypass, man, and my bowel smell horrible. So I'm going to need my <laughs> little bathroom. Sure, that's fine. Okay, I have cool matches. In the gang. That's all fine. right, cool in yeah, the game. So you're right. Now, if you strike a match, I'm going to blow your house up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is gas, Jack. No, but thank you for coming in, man. South Paul in theaters, July 24th. And Jake Gyllenhaal, thank you for coming Woo! in and having a good time. Thanks with for us. having me. You got me. anything yeah. else that you're working on? Cause um, yeah, anything I got, coming out? I got what about a, the next thing coming out? The next thing coming out is a movie called Everest. All right, and when about is that? Mount Everest. That comes out September 18th. Okay, we'll see you around September 1st. Yeah, man, for sure. Come back. Yeah. All Make right. sure you come back, man. Always. I yeah. always want to be here. Don't, none, none of this phone call stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm man. saying? Sometimes like, you got to like, give me the phone call, though. I can't always oh, I just the phone get call. Here, I ain't going to turn it down. Please. Mr. Gyllenhaal, don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the phone call. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please. Uh, but last time I was out, you were. You were like, uh, yeah, you're on the phone? How's right. it in there? Where you can, you're not good? At, you're good enough to good to come here? Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. All I want to do is all I want to do is be here all the time. But I have to go talk to other people. I don't know why you do. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? But hey, we're more fun. There, yeah, there it is. Okay. Next time we can cook, right? Yeah, yeah man. Hell yeah. yeah, we're burning this whole building down, Jack. <laughs> what? As we should. Like and can you imagine what the what the damn Jake Gyllenhaal hamburgers or something to sell for? I can make. By the way, I make I make a killer hamburger. That all right, for sure. But we're gonna make like a hundred. I'm gonna sell them in the front. That's all right. Okay. All right, cool in the game. Y'all still on your radio, all man. Right. But no, thank you, Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal up yeah. in here. South Paul, the movie. Go check it out, big boy. Big boy.